Well, since I'm about to have a conversation with my friend Shepard Peterson, I'm going to Shepard's office if he's in the office. But first, I should ask Auntie first if I can go alone in my car. Um, Nan, why are you in my room? Because I just want to ask you a quick question. Okay, what do you want? Can I drive alone to Shepard's office with my conversation? He would like to see me. Sure. Go ahead if you want to drive alone to Shepard's office. But please make sure you don't come home too late. Oh, okay then, Andy. But first, I need to get a phone call to call my friend Shepard Peterson if you can or not. Hello, this is Shepard speaking. How can I help you with? I would like to have a conversation with you in your office. Can I please go inside your office? Absolutely. Please meet me at my office when you come inside my office and have your conversation with me after knocking on the door softly. Okay, thank you very much, Shepard. Well, I have to leave the call right now because I have to drive the car to your office. So, goodbye and I'll see you in your office. Okay, see you later and please don't be late. Goodbye. Well, Auntie, I have to go to Shepard's office right now because I'm about to have a conversation with him and he wants to see me. But please keep an eye on Miss and Mal because they're grounded. So, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Okay, see you later, Non. Hang on, where are you going? Over, I'm driving to Shepard's office because I'm about to have a conversation with my friend Shepard. Oh, okay. By the way, please make sure Miss never causes any trouble because he's still grounded even though he's in his room. Because if he does, then please give him a timeout for his penalty. Okay then, over. I will. Now, if you excuse me, I must leave the call because I'm driving my car to Shepard's office and I don't want to lose my drive controlling. So, I have to go right now, bye. Well, goodbye then, Non. Well, I hope nobody bothers and disturbs me on my phone while I'm driving to Shepard's office because I don't want to get annoyed by Miss and Mal. Okay, I'm here at the office building. Now I can go to Shepard's office because I can have a conversation with my friend Shepard. Hopefully, Shepard is in his office. So, let's go. Come in. Hey Mr. Shepard, I'm glad that I made it to your office early. It's good to be here in my office early. So, you must be Non, right? Yep, that's right, Mr. Shepard. My name is Non. I'm the prefix guy. I came here to have a meeting and conversation with you in your office, should I? Sure thing, Non. So, what's your conversation with me in my office? Mr. Shepard, here's my conversation. Do you want to say something interesting about the movie, funny quotes, and series? Of course. Say something interesting about the movie, funny quotes, and series if you want. It's so really great and the most comical game show we've ever seen on TV. Spaceships are coming to the world. The astronauts are planet explorers. Mr. Shepard, look over there. Angry Birds fry the pigs and rescue the eggs. Satan. I said Jesus Christ ya Christian prayer. The Passion of the Christ. Matthew goes to the wild and strikes the nemesis down. The Super Mario Bros. movie. 2. Okay, Non, that's enough. Please have a seat because I'm going to ask you a question. Alright, very good. So, let me ask you a question. What brings you here to my office for your conversation? Well, it's because I drive my car to the office early. Luckily, nobody distracts me with my phone while I'm driving and there are no traffic jams because it's slightly near the office. I know that, Non. So, anything else you can say or ask, 
Well, Mr. Shepard, let me tell you this. I just watched the news about Mel pushing Eloise Wanda Perez off of the tallest building back in season 2 episode 3, and Mal saying offensive and rude stuff to V and pedestrians and V and citizens, then the police are chasing Mal, and then Mal gets arrested by the cops and sent to jail back in season 2 episode 7 on TV at the Affix home. Also, Miss said unwelcome back to Andy back in season 2 episode 8 because he's being heartless to her and his behavior is horrible. This is why I teach Miss and Mal not to do any stupid troublesome experiments. Oh, I heard that, non. That should teach Miss and Mal a lot of lessons because their behaviors are completely dreadful. They need to stop doing a lot of troublemaking actions, or else they will get into a lot of trouble. So, it better not be Miss and Mal who come to my office because they both are rejected to come to my office, right? Right. Not only that, but Mal also destroyed the first FX computer back in Season 1 Episode 26 in Plotagon version even though we don't like Plotagon, and then Mal destroyed the second FX computer for Disobey and the Reapers, the Storms, the Uncle Star, the Venomous Trio, and Lana Dark and Derek back in Season 1 Episode 29 even though I thought Mal isn't accessible to enter the FX office when the FX office door is locked, but she uses a leopard ability to access to the FX office so that way she destroys the second FX computer. And unfortunately, I can't afford to buy the third Affix computer because it's too expensive, our money is low in our wallet, and the computers are not free in the computer store. I see, non. Sorry to hear about your second Affix computer getting destroyed by Mal the stupid prefix troublemaker. So, it better not be any troublemaker who gives my computer or laptop a random character error and destroys my computer or laptop in my office for disobeying a random character error. Anyways. Is there anything you can say or ask me? Mr. Shepard, let me ask you a question. Why are Miss and Mal still troublemaking, disobedient, undisciplined, mischievous, and unreliable? Because why? Because they won't listen to my AFIX members' instructions for doing nonsensical troublemaking actions and obnoxious heinous ideas like stealing other people's things, vandalizing the wall, throwing any dangerous thing at other people to make them hurtful and injured, saying rude and offensive stuff to other people, misbehaving any places and restaurants, hurt other people's feelings to make them cry or upset, and more of them. Not to mention that Mal got suspended from school for vandalizing the restroom and vandalizing Mr. Biden's classroom completely. That's why. Oh. I knew that to say that, non. I hope any troublemakers won't come to my office to vandalize it because it's against the official policy and law. I agree with you, Mr. Shepard. That's what they get for getting grounded and in time out all the time. Same here. Anyways, what can I do for you to say something or ask me nicely? Mr. Shepard, I have to say something unfortunate. What? What's the matter? But how? The cops are about to bail Mal out of jail because she got freed from jail in 17 days sentence is over. Uh oh. I'm sorry to hear that, non. And also, if Mal gets freed from jail by the cops without escaping and goes back to the Affix home, then we are still grounding her and sending her to the room because she's still grounded. Right Mr. Shepard? Right. By the way, if Miss and Mal are grounded, then why are you keep grounding them all the time? Because we have the right to ground Miss and Mal for doing any ridiculous troublemaking actions and pointless heinous experiments. That's why they are the prefix troublemakers. Oh, okay. I know Miss and Mal are the prefix troublemakers, but please do not yell and scream too extremely loud to ground Miss and Mal with loud volume because the neighbors can hear anyone else and it could cause other people to get ear bleeding. Got that? Yep, I got that, Mr. Shepard. Very good. I'm glad that you understand me. Hold it right there, Mr. Shepard. Someone is calling me on my phone. I have to go outside of the office because I have to answer on my phone. I'll be right back, Mr. Shepard. Okay. Hello, who it is? Non, it's Andy. Oh, it's you, Andy. So, what can I do for you? Nan, I just want to tell you something. Please meet us and come back home because we don't want you to be late. Oh, okay then. I clearly understand that. I will go back home after I'm done with my conversation with Mr. Shepard. So, please wait and I will come back home shortly. Alright then, Nan. We will wait for you to come back home momentarily.
Well, I have to go right now because I need to end my conversation with Mr. Shepard as fast as possible. So, be well, be patient, and goodbye. Goodbye then, Non. Sorry about that, Mr. Shepard. I just got Andy's phone call on my phone at the office pantry. But, here's a thing, Mr. Shepard. Okay, what is it? I have to end my conversation with you because I have to go back home and my ethics members need me. Oh, okay. But, one last thing, Mr. Shepard. Yes, what do you want for me? I'm going to shake your hands for my goodbyes before I can go back home. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much for letting me in your office. I appreciate your conversation with me and you're my best friend. So, goodbye and I will see you later, Mr. Shepard. You're welcome, Non. I'm very glad that you shake my hands for your goodbyes and I appreciate your conversation with me. So, be good, be happy, be well, and goodbye. Please come and speak again at my office soon. Well, good thing that nobody steals my car by any troublemaker because my car is still here. Now it's time for me to drive back home. Well, I hope I don't want to notice any vehicle accidents on the road and nobody bothers and distracts me on my phone while I'm driving back home. And I really hope that Mr. Shepard keeps being safe and protected in his office from the troublemakers. Okay, I drove and arrived back home early. Now it's time for me to meet the ethics members in the living room because they are needing me at home. Hey guys and girls, I'm back home. So tell me, how's my conversation with Mr. Shepard going? Your conversation is great. But we're very glad that you came back home. I agree with you, Auntie. Your conversation is truly wonderful. Me too. Your conversation is pretty good. Me three. Your conversation is really excellent. Me four. Your conversation is tremendously marvelous. Me five. Your conversation is seriously awesome. And miss, do not say any negative stuff to Non's conversation. Otherwise, you will be grounded if you do that. I agree with you, over. You do not even think about saying any hateful and negative stuff to my conversation and my friend Mr. Shepard. Because if you do, not only you will be in severely great trouble for that, but you will also be grounded. Got it? Okay, over Non. I got that. But, here's a thing and I think Nun's conversation is... No! Absolutely not! Nun, your conversation is absolutely stupid, totally awful, utterly trash, truly nonsensical, and seriously terrible and your friend Mr. Shepard is completely idiotic, awfully ugly, and massively horrible. And guess what? I hope Mr. Shepard must die soon, you stupid freaking piece of crap! Oh. My. Freaking. Goodness. Gracious. Holy. Sweet. Mother. Of. God. Miss, you stupid freaking idiot. Did you seriously say any negative stuff about my conversation and my friend Mr. Shepard and tell Mr. Shepard to die himself? And you really think my conversation is stupid, awful, trash, nonsensical, and terrible and my friend Mr. Shepard is idiotic, ugly, and horrible? That was seriously uncool, offensive, intolerant, disrespectful, and impolite to say that to my conversation and my friend Mr. Shepard. Since you've said any negative stuff about Non's conversation and his friend Mr. Shepard, you are now officially grounded until Bloodlust Wonder Perez releases the final episode of the prefix, suffix, root, and affix keyword series. Now march forward to your room right immediately and don't come out until your grounding time is over. Ugh. This sucks as heck. But whatever. My god. That stupid prefix jerk saying any negative stuff to Non's conversation and Mr. Shepard, right auntie? Yep, I know right. Why? He needs to stop being a negative, offensive, and disrespectful person. Don't you agree, Non? Of course, I agree with that, Andy.
Ugh. I'm still stuck in jail. How am I supposed to get bailed out of jail after 17 days without planning to escape? I can't think about my next troublesome experiment because of the stupid jail. Okay, Mel, your 17-day sentence in jail is over. I'm going to bail you out of jail when I unlock the jail door for you. Ugh, finally. Officer, I can finally get out of jail without escaping. Very good, Mel. I'm glad that you hear that because I've bailed you out of jail without escaping. But, you must listen to me very carefully. Do not do any offensive crimes repeatedly, or else I will send you to jail again for a long time. Do I make myself clear? Okay, fine. I understood. Loud and clear. Good. Now, come with me to the police car and I will send you back home.